Good morning. I am called the NYA. We are here again to discuss. But before we discuss, I say to all fans and supporters and family members around the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on the time zone. I am called the NYE. Returning subscribers, you are highly appreciated. And uh, the new subscribers, we are here to please you. Uh, remember to always subscribe and uh, remember that always like, comment and put on notification. This is a wonderful day today. It's windy, it's been raining cats and dogs in the night. But uh, we are here for you. I appreciate all the, the time you spend in watching our videos and uh, recommending it to your subscribers, to your friends and families. Thank you very much for, for what you have done. This is uh, beautiful. This is beautiful discourse. Uh, you can hear the sound of the wind. You can hear the sound of the wind. You can hear the wind. It's glorious. Refreshing today. After the rain last night and early this morning, it was been raining cats and dogs. Okay, we are going to continue on our discussion. What can we say? And well, by the requests by people, um, who want us to discuss about uh, Anambra State um, Onicha, precise um, Can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan? You can see this road I am now It's not a major road But you can see around it What do you see? Do you see any attachments? Do you see any attachment on it? Do you see any attachment? You can see here. Any attachment near these buildings? There is none. There is none. There is no. There is no attachment. But what you see is flowers and trees around it. You see on this side, this is wall. This is wall. And behind the wall, there are trees also. Did you see any attachment or rubbish on it? Not at all. So we are going to discuss about the issue that pertaining or mili mili militating against uh, this great city of our nature from being the African Dubai Taiwan and how it can be improved based on the discussions um, I had with some other people and my own suggestion to the governor of Anambra State. But before I do, I'm going to um, slowly, uh, slowly uh, discuss to you and to explain to you what this city or nature, where it is, and um, for you to know about it. Onicha is a state, is a city in Anambra State, Nigeria, in southeastern part of Nigeria. And this uh, city is known for commercial and industrial activities. And Onicha is one of the most populous uh, cities. Onicha Metro, I'm talking about, has a population of almost 8 million. The Metro, Onicha Metro. On each a town holds 2.5 million people. But on, me, on each a metropolitan area that's made up of adjoining towns is, has a population of 8 million. And um, this is very huge. And in a very small land area. And you can see that this is a huge city. And it's known for... Um, a lot of multi-layered uh, uh, buildings 
Okay, look at this place again. You see, this is a uh, inner road, and you can see the houses. You can see the on the both side of it. Did you see any attachment near these houses? No. Did you did you see any? Okay, look at the road. This is like what you say village road. This is a, like a village road. But do you see how beautiful? Look at the trees. Look at how it is. Look at how it's, you know. So now we're going to discuss. <clears throat> Onicha is a great city and should be one of the biggest city or most beautiful city in Nigeria. But the, but the reverse has been the case over the years of a massive government neglect both the local and the federal government of Nigeria in building key key infrastructure in this state in this city but today we are going to discuss can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan yeah you can be it can be if necessary steps are taken in beautifying this city uh, getting the shanty towns and uh, shanty towns and the attachments that are littered all over the city away from so this is me um so we are going to discuss on this so we are going to discuss on this let us uh, use uh, some of the major roads in our nature for example you look at our car road you look at uh, Iweka stroke up Iweka. You look at uh, this avenue. You look at Potakot Road. You look at uh, Niger or Sokoto Road. You look at uh, Boromi or Linka Road. You look at uh, Onicha Way Road. And uh, you look at um, Odam Key Road, Atani Road. These are major roads in the city. 3 3 Junction or Baka of Federal Housing. So these are major road MCC or if it uh, road. These are major roads in this city. But let me use um, Portacourt Road, for instance, the governor of the state, or Anambra State governor, uh, called um, Chukuma Soludo, recently awarded uh, Portacourt Road. If you look at that Portacourt Road, this is one of the roads that should be showcasing the beauty of the state or the city. But unfortunately, if you look at if you look at the drone footage of those of that road, you see the devastation caused by people. You see so many shanty towns, uh, attachments, and rubbish dumped in front of houses. And you can see that there are no beautification. There is no planning. There is no um, no input from the local authority or to control all these things. So even with the governor building this road, it will still not make that place habitable, livable or habitable because of this um, attitude. So the government should, as a matter of urgency, get the people to remove all those shanty towns attachments to their in front of their buildings they should be cleared off completely from every debris nothing should be built in front of any building and when you remove all those things trees should be uh, planted at least each each house should have at least two to four trees in front of it with other ornamental uh, flowers or plants which will beautify this uh, great city because there is no use there is no use 
using a lot of money, uh, billions of money to construct this road without actually planning of beautification. And the beautification should be done now. Because all those things were, is, is, is causing a lot of uh, nuisance and causing the city to look very uh, archaic and uh, very unkept. So where are the town planners? Where are the local authorities? Where are the Onitsha South local government, which your uh, Potakot Road fell under, is completely inactive. That's why the governor should uh, hasten up to get the people that want to do the job in the hem of affair. Because having a lot of um, dormant people will actually uh, not be able to help him in transforming this great city. Can Onitsha be the African Dubai Taiwan? Yes, it can be. So you can see that with removing all those shanty towns and all those attachments and buildings, the pedestrian uh, walkway will, will be installed so that people can move freely and the air quality will be improved. So it's very important for the governor to look at all these things and um, get uh, the necessary uh, things in place. You can see this place. If it's uh, in Onitsha or Nigeria, this open place will be littered with shanty containers and the rubbish. But you can see that the place, the place was um, is greened. The place is kept neat, and uh, trees, trees was planted on it, and. Um, you can see in front of that house, you can see there is no attachment. You see how clean, how neat. You can see that this is three. This is three, how the whole place. Do you see any open drainage? Not at all. There is no open drainage here. But this place has also a uh, internal drainages you can see this is one of them you see you can open this place to see the drainage and the water pipes and channels this is how it's done and you can see clearly the markings you can see the labor on this in spite that it's an internal road labor for parking or stopping this is a narrow road that is kept very well, very neat. You can see what is done here. You can see the effort in getting this place uh, in order. You can see around it, you see? You can see, this is not even a major road. This is like a village road. This is like a village road in Nigeria. It's like a village road and you don't see any attachment. You don't see any shanties. You don't see any shanties. Rather, you see trees. And uh, and when you are <coughs> going on this place, it looks lovely. And it's also very, very um, uh, good for your breath. And the air, are, the air is very fresh. You can see that. That's the beauty of it. You see this one as well. Did you see any attachment on it? You see how they use it. They used the woods to both sides of the road. You can see. So that's what the Anambra State Government, if truly they wanted on each other to be the African Dubai Taiwan to do. This is uh, where you put the beans. You put the beans. So you don't dump anything on the ground, you see? It's still, you see, both sides of the road is, uh, is kept, in spite of this uh, wind, it's beginning to rain now. It's beginning to rain. It's beginning to rain. So that's what we are discussing about. It's very, very vital if for nature is going to maintain its place or if we're going to rise for the government to do the needful.
for the government to do the needful. Very, very important. It's very important to get this on nature up and running. Shanties should be removed. Attachment in front of buildings should be removed because those things make the place very unkept. Can on nature be the African Dubai Taiwan? It can be if necessary things are done. Attachments, shanties should be removed in front of houses. You see how green it is? Look at how green. Did you see any shanties behind me? No? You see how green? Can you see how green the place is? So you can see it's very beautiful. You can see how green it is. That's how it should be. You can see how green. You can see how green it is. So that's what Onicha should be turned into. Can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan? Yes, it can be. If the necessary steps are taken to make it so. It's very, very vital for, for our for the city dwellers. You can see this road. Do you see any attachment around? Look at, you see? Do you see any attachment? Do you see any attachment left and right? There is no attachment. There is no attachment. Do you see any attachment? There is no attachment. Can on each be the African Dubai Taiwan? Please comment. Please like. Let's discuss. Do you see any attachment? You can see there is... Sorry about the noise. We are in the major road now. But in spite of that, do you see any attachment here? No. It's raining. It's beginning to rain. On both sides of the road. Do you see any attachment? There is none. Can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan? Yes, Onicha can be the African Dubai Taiwan. Look at how this place is. You can see. Let us look at... Uh, you see the drainage look at the drainage you can see the drainage this is the drainage do you see any any open drainage no from here the drainage is under here and this is the pedestrian walk you see how neat there is no attachment there is no shanties there is no uh, mess, there, is, there are no beggars, no beggars on this. This is what we are discussing about. This is what we are talking about. This is how it should be. This is how it should be. Can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan? Yes, Onicha can be the African Dubai Taiwan if the governor uh, do the right thing. Um, he can be the African Dubai Taiwan. So it's very very important. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's a beautiful dog. Wonderful. Wonderful. So can Onicha be the African Dubai Taiwan? Yes, it can be. You can see the chair for people if you are walking and you are tired near the road you can sit here. So that's what we expect the governor of Anambra State, Chukwu Masoludo, having lived in Europe or London, to know about these things and to do the necessary. It's very vital for us to do the necessary. It's very, very important for us to do the necessary. Very, very important. Shanties in front of houses should be removed. It should not be used to, to, defeat, to defend the face of this great city of Onisha. Onisha can be turned into African Dubai, Taiwan. So comment and like. I am still called the NYE. And we are discussing um, this important subject today. A lot of people are thinking that the, the government is not doing the right thing. They are using the fire brigade approach not really putting in place the necessary things that are needed to get this city up and running. But if he can start today, although his time is going very fast, his time is going running out very fast, 
because of so much delays that have been witnessed. But let's uh, hope that he will do the right thing and get this city up and running. You can see the pedestrian ways. You can see. I am Cordley NYE signing off. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Peace off. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Bye.